Hi everyone, my name is Kate and today we are going to crochet this beautiful summer dress. Its beauty is that it's simple and even a beginner can cope with it. You asked me for a long time to make a video about summer dress and this is that moment. I've been delaying this moment for a long time because I don't like to crochet long projects, but this dress I crocheted in three days. This design is perfect for me, for summer, open back and fluffy skirt. In it you just want to go to the sea or river, go on a picnic with a boyfriend or girlfriend or on a romantic date. I crocheted this dress by participating in challenge by hobby, on holiday with hobby and I think I did it well because I'm just in love with this summer dress. Hope you are ready to crochet the same dress, but before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, it helps others to see my video and try yourself in the same kind of creativity. You can also send me a donation by the link in the description under the video, I'll be very glad. So let's get started! I ordered a yarn from Hobby, beautiful golden and milky color called Panitoni. In the sun is incredible shiny. It's cotton, polyamid and metallic fiber. Since the design of the dress is simple, I decided to diversify it with a melange yarn. Will be very nice. Links to my yarn will be in the description under the video. For size SM we need 7 skins of yarn Panitoni from Hobby in 50 grams 120 meters, also hook 4 mm, scissors, tape measure, needle and markers. Make a chain of 94 air loops is somewhere between 51-52 cm. You may have a value less or more. It's not the full circumference of the place that is just above your waist. Add two more loops. 1 and 2, yarn over, put the hook into the third loop, the one that on the hook doesn't count, 1, 2, 3, here, grab the yarn, bring it out and crochet 3 loops on the hook, then insert the hook into the next stitch and also crochet 3 loops together, it's a half double crochet, and crochet like this until the end of our chain. The last half double crochet. Chain 2. And this is what our first row looks like. And now we need a marker to mark the middle of our first row. You should mark two middle stitches. You can do this by counting the stitches or you can fold the first row in half and thus find those two stitches. Here there are my two stitches. And now we'll start to make decreases on the ends and then after a certain number of rows we'll start to make decreases in the middle. We start with decreases. Turn the work, yarn over and put the hook into the second loop. Here. Grab the yarn, crochet only first two loop, then yarn over again, put the hook into the next loop, grab the yarn, crochet two loops, and then three loops together. It's our decrease. And now you can mark this top stitch with a marker so that you don't lost it and Crochet it in the next row. Then we crochet everything as usual, just half double crochets and we crochet until we have the last two loops left uncrocheted. Here 
Here are my last two stitches and we will make a decrease yarn over, put the hook, grab the yarn and crochet only two loops. Then yarn over again, put the hook in the last stitch, grab the yarn, crochet only two loops, then three loops together. It's our decrease. Chain two and turn your work. Then yarn over and put the hook into the second loop here and crochet just three loops together. And on this row we crochet usual half double crochet, so we alternate one row with decreases, the second row without decreases, then again with decreases and then again without decreases. And now we crochet without decreases until the end of the row. Here are my last two stitches and in the last you should have a marker if you marked yourself where you did the decrease. Chain 2, 1, 2, turn your work and from the second loop we start making a decrease. So we crochet on the first two loops, then yarn over, put the hook into the next loop, only two loops and then three together. So to the end of the row crochet usual half double crochets until we have left two uncrocheted loops. I'm at the end of the row and I will make a decrease. So yarn over, put the hook into this loop, crochet on the two loops, yarn over again, put the hook into the last stitch, two loops and then three together, chain two and turn your work. Don't mind my ends, I just join in yarn here, I'll show you later how to do this. And now we just start row without decreases. So we need to crochet a certain number of rows up, alternate rows with and without decreases until we start the neckline. It may be a different number of rows for everyone. I crocheted 13 rows up and that's 10 cm. And now we need a second marker to mark the middle again. I'm starting my 14th row and it starts with decreases. You should also start with decreases. After decrease, crochet usual half double crochets until the marker. I reached the marker and it stands for the two middle stitches. Take it off and now these stitches I will not crochet, but instead of here I grab this loop and pull it out and it should be as long as these two stitches. I put the hook into this loop and hold it with the length as I just measured. Yarn over and skip in here these two stitches and in the third we make half double crochet like this. So that's how we got the first brooch and then yarn over and continue crocheting half double crochet until the end of the row and at the end make decrease. Chain 2 and turn the work. It's our 15th row and it's without decreases. So starting from the second stitch Make usual half double crochets until we reach brooch. The last stitch before the brooch. Then again pull the loop and make it the same length as the previous brooch. Yarn over the same length as the loop and put the hook into the first loop after the brooch. So then crochet half double crochets until the end of the row and without decrease at the end, then two loops up and the row with decreases. I crocheting penultimate stitch, 
before the brooch and the last and next after the brooch we will not crochet it so grab this loop and make it as long that it's reached to the second stitch after the brooch put the hook in it yarn over hold it in the same length and put the hook into the second stitch after the brooch and crochet three loops together then at the end of the row crochet as usual half double crochets at the end make the decrease then go to the next row without decreases until the brooch I crochet the last stitch and pull the loop equal to the previous brooch like this to the first stitch after the brooch yarn over in the same length and put the hook into the first stitch and crochet three loops together then continue to the end of the row with half double crochets in the rows where we make decreases we don't crochet the stitches before and after the brooch and in the row where we don't make decreases we crochet the last and the first stitch before and after the brooch so I have a row with decreases and again don't crochet the last stitch before the brooch So we crochet like this until you want to stop, we can do at least all the neckline with such brooches. I'm on my 20th row and it was decreases and you should also stop at the row that starts with decreases. It's about 15-15.5 cm high and now we will continue to form the triangle on one side only. There are two uncrocheted stitches before the brooch and I'm making a decrease. Then two air loops and turn your work. This row starts without decreases and then we crochet the same way we did before, turning rows with and without decreases until we have only one stitch left on the hook. So this is my last decrease and I have the one stitch on the hook. And this is how a triangular turns out. From the last stitch pick up a chain of 100 air loops that will be our ties. You can make them longer or shorter as you want. Yarn over and put the hook into the third loop and make a half double crochet. Continue crocheting half double crochet until we reached our triangle. The last stitch we crochet in the last stitch of the triangle, chain 1 and cut the yarn. And now with the needle you can hide the end on the wrong side. And that's what we have, the ties can be tied around the neck and you can slip them here below through the side loops.
and we need to finish the second triangle and the top of the dress will be ready. Take the yarn and make the first loop. Insert the hook into the first stitch after the brooch and take it out. Chain 2, then yarn over and make a decrease. So continue to crochet to the end of the row and at the end we also make a decrease, then turn to another row without decrease and continue to alternate rows until we have one stitch on the hook. Then we make a chain of fair loops, crochet it with half double crochet and with a needle hide the end. Here is what I have and this is the top of our dress and if you want you can leave it like that and wear it as a top. And to crochet a skirt we need to mark the back, any thread or I have such a braid. This is the distance with which you can freely remove the top so it goes well in your shoulders and the chest. We add more loops on this distance to make a skirt. You can also make this braid and leave it there so that when we crochet the skirt we can adjust the waist if you have a ties around the neck. The seam will be in the middle so we need to dial a chain of air loops equal to half of this length and then at the end we add more air loops. I just dial attached and see that it's equal to this length. In total to me it's 16 air loops and half it will be 8. Now I have 8 air loops on my hook, turn the work around and put a hook into these side loops. So yarn over, insert the hook into this place, grab the yarn and crochet 3 loops together. Then yarn over again, put the hook into this place. And continue crocheting like this, half double crochet until the end. It's my penultimate stitch. And the last one in these side stitches. Then chain of 8, it's our half of another air loops. Put the hook into the very first loop here by the two strands and to make a slip stitch, grab the yarn, take it out and the first loop into the second one. Chain 2, one, two. yarn over and put the hook into the next loop. Then we continue to crochet our 8 air loops, then we go to the main part and as usual crochet half double crochets until the end of our circle. last stitch and now I'll show you how we join the row. We have to put the hook on the back side behind the second stitch. Grab the loop and bring it to the other side. Pull it up slightly, 
to the side of the hook. Then we take two air loops. One, two. Yarn over and insert the hook into this braid that is right below these two air loops. And these two air loops are not counted as one stitch, they will be hidden by the connection between the rows. Continue crocheting half double crochets all around the circle. The last stitch we crochet behind this join that we have left from the previous row. Insert the hook by these two strands and crochet three loops together. Then we again put the hook behind the second stitch that is after our two air loops. Grab the loop and slightly tighten. Chain 2 Yarn over and insert the hook into the very first loop. We've crocheted one stitch and we have to crochet six more stitches and we're going to make an increase. So we make an increase in the eighth stitch. The first two air loops doesn't count as one stitch. This is my 8th stitch, yarn over, put the hook into this loop, make a half double crochet, yarn over again, put the hook into the same place and make a half double crochet. Then we crochet 7 stitches again and make an increase in the 8th stitch and make it all the way to the end of the row. It's not necessarily that you have the number of stitches that not equal to 8. For example, at the end of the row you have an increase and then 3 stitches left or 5 stitches left. It's ok, it all depends on the number of loops. If you suddenly get confused, visually you can see where you did an increase. Here we can see 2 stitches crocheted in one loop and here just the same. The last stitch and we put the hook into these two strands which formed by our connection from the previous row. Then we put a hook behind the second stitch, it's our air loops and this is the stitch. Bring the loop back and slightly tighten and make two air loops. Here is what looks like a seam, it will go diagonally, but on the right side it will be almost invisible. The principle of crochet in the skirt is that in the certain number of rows we make an increase, then we'll crochet a certain number of rows without increases, and so our skirt will gradually expand. I won't crochet with you all the skirts, I'll do it BTS, but now I will just tell you in which rows we make increases, then how many rows we make without increases, and so on. Work long and laborious, but I know you can do it, the result is worth all the effort. I've already crocheted more than half and this is how the back side looks like, the seam is almost invisible. The length of the skirt I have now is about 24 cm and I need about 40 cm. And I completely forgot to show you how we add a new yarn. So yarn over with a new yarn and put the hook into the next loop. Grab the new yarn and crochet three loops together. And you can pull up all the ends. So then just continue to crochet with these ends and all their remaining rows.
Two days later and I finished my dress, so it looks like this and now we just need to make a beautiful edge and it will be done. The length from the bottom of the top to the bottom of the skirt I have 39.5 cm. As I said, you can use the braid to tighten the waist or you can wear it without anything freely or you can use those ties that we crocheted, but for me it's not very comfortable, so I use this braid. Let's make an edge. I didn't join the row as usual, I just put the hook into the same loop and crochet the first loop into the second one, then the same. And this is our slip stitch. Crochet like this all the circle. The last slip stitch and you can cut the yarn. Take out of the loop and now using a needle we make a seamless connection. We put the needle into the first braid by two strands, then the needle inserts into the middle of the last braid. Then we hide the tip in the wrong side of our dress. Also hide the top tip and cut all inside ends. And it only needs to be washed by hand and well steamed. If you are a bit shy, you can use these cups, sew them to the top. Here is a summer dress we have with you. As you can see, crocheting is very simple that even a beginner can cope with it. The simple design of the dress looks very beautiful, stylish and elegant. So what do you think? Did I cope with this task of the challenge to crochet a summer sink in which you want to go on a vacation? <laughs> I think yes. This yarn is perfect for a summer dress. There are different colors on the side that are even prettier than this one. So follow the link in the description under the video and take Take a look. I thank you for watching this video, I'm sure you did as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I see everything, I read everything and I answer everything. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and bye kiddies!